property taxes in East Tennessee. This is a broad overview of Knox, Loudoun, Anderson, Blunt, and Sevier counties. And I'll tell you why I picked those individual videos about property taxes for Knox, Blunt, Sevier, Anderson, and Loudoun counties. So go check out those individual videos where I'm gonna get in the weeds. But this is like a broad overview. If you're thinking of the East Tennessee area, if you wanna know about property taxes, let's dive in and get started. The whole reason this got started is because of some of the different school districts and then also the surprise when I tell people that they may not have trash service, for example, in a specific area, even though maybe they have a Knoxville address, they're not within the city of Knoxville, so they have different services. So this again is a broad overview. There are videos specifically per county, Knox, Loudoun, Blunt, Sevier, Anderson, that you can go check out that's gonna get into the weeds. This is a broad overview of property taxes in these counties, and then go check out the individual videos. Okay, so as I mentioned in this video, we're talking Knox, Blunt, Sevier, Anderson, and Loudoun counties. The reason why I picked those is because, first of all, Knox to me is the obvious one. Like Knox County is the big, city in East Tennessee. Um, so when we talk about Knox Metro, Anderson County is included, Loudoun County is included, Blount County is included. Technically Sevier County is not part of Knox Metro. However, it is part of the like Morristown Knox Metro area, but Sevier County is, Sevier County borders Knox, okay? And what I have found is the majority of the people that are moving to East Tennessee are looking at one of these areas. And primarily Blount County and Anderson County and Knox County because of school systems, Sevier County because of the mountains, and then Loudoun County because water frontage and or it's more of a, it's got several retirement communities. So people generally looking to move to the East Tennessee area are looking at one of these five. Okay, so all of these have in common that they are large counties they all have in common that they've got a mountain view somewhere. They all have in common that there's water somewhere. They all have in common that there's might be an area called similar to the county that may or may not be within a city limit. So for example, Knox County is the home to Knoxville. Part of Knoxville is in with Knoxville city limits and part of Knoxville is not. Loudoun County, home to Lenore City, home to the city of Loudoun. There is city of Loudoun, and then there's Loudoun County that also houses a whole lot of other stuff. Blunt County houses Alcoa. Maryville, part of it is city limits, and part of it is not within the city limits of Maryville. And because of that, because of those distinctions, you're gonna pay double property taxes, I should say, within the city and the county. So we're gonna start with Knox County. Again, I'm gonna go high level for each of these. If you want specifics about the county and the specific services, go to that exact video. So for Knox County, you've got county, Knox County, and then you've got Knoxville, city of Knoxville. That's it. So you have city of Knoxville. If you are within the city of Knoxville limits, you're gonna pay city of Knoxville taxes and Knox County taxes. Now, city of Knoxville has quite a bit of perks. You've got trash service, you've got the Knoxville Police Department. You know, you do have perks because you are in, you've got the Knoxville Fire Department because you're within the city of Knoxville limits. If you're within the city of Knoxville limits, you're gonna pay, you're gonna do two sets of elections. We have a city mayor and we have a county mayor. However, what sets Knox County apart is Knox County is one giant school district. Every other county we're gonna talk about today has some other smaller school district within the county. So Knox County, one giant school district. Now we do have magnet schools where you could put your name in the hat for a lottery. Like for example, Ellen and Sim Academy, Beaumont, you've got Vine, which has a magnet school program. You've got Career Magnet, where the kiddos graduate with an associate's degree. So you do have those, but all of those are within the Knox County school system, serving over 60,000 students. It is by far the largest school district in the East Tennessee area. I think it's third largest in the state. I think Metro, like Nashville is the largest. I think Memphis is second, and I think Knox County is third. 
Knox County, one big school system. If you're within the city of Knoxville, you get trash service and you get some other services. However, the county is in charge of the health department. The county is in charge of the library. So there's like a split of services between city of Knoxville and Knox County. If you're within the city limits, you're gonna pay two sets of taxes. And like, honestly, my mom is just past the county line. I mentioned this in the Knox County video. She pays for rural Metro for like emergency services, fire department services. She pays $35 a month, I believe. And then for her garbage, I think it's 53 a month. And that's residential trash pickup every week and recycling every other week. So you're going to be paying for those services most likely, unless you just want to haul your trash, which is what we do, which I think is a mistake. But you know what? You just can't get your husband to do everything you want him to do. Okay. 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 So that's Knox County. One big school system. If you're within the city. Oh, another note about Knox County. Farragut is its own town, but Farragut sits within Knox County. Powell, similar, but Farragut is its own town. Like there is a, it's its own kind of entity. However, you're not paying double taxes in Farragut. The Farragut schools are part of Knox County schools. Farragut is in Knox County. There is a teeny little portion of Farragut that is in Loudoun County, but we're not really counting that because it's just such a small portion. It's really irrelevant to say, in my opinion, no offense. Okay, that's Knox County. Next up, let's talk about Sevier County. Sevier County is a little bit squirrely. Sevier County is larger than the rest of the counties we're talking about today. It also has one of the smallest populations. 30% of Sevier County is part of the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. And also more than 14 million people come to Sevier County every year for tourist purposes. That being said, by population, Sevier County is about one fifth of the total population of Knox County. Okay, so larger in size, less people living in it. Sevier County, you have, this still floors me, okay? You've got Sevier County, and then you've got Sevierville, the city of Sevierville, you've got the city of Pigeon Forge, you've got the city of Gatlinburg, and then you've got Pittman Center. So you potentially, you've got five different kind of sets of taxes, Sevier County only, Sevier County and Sevierville, city of Sevierville, Sevier County and City of Pigeon Forge, Sevier County and City of Gatlinburg, and Sevier County and Pittman Center. Now, Sevierville is very similar to Knoxville in that you could have a Knoxville address and only pay Knox County taxes. Sevierville is the same. You could have a Sevierville address and only pay Sevier County taxes because your location in Sevierville is outside of the city limits. So you can look and see on the Sevier, Sevier County map I provided that the actual city entities are very small in comparison to the size of Sevier County. Sevier County, oh, I lied. You know what? I said Knox County is the only one with its own school system. That is not true. Sevier County has one school system, Sevier County Schools. That's it. That's all she wrote. There is no Sevierville City Schools. There are no Pigeon Forge City Schools. It's one big school district. So that's a side note. Now, Sevier, Sevierville, um, where the ta property taxes come into play. So like city of Sevierville, you have a reduced, from what I can find from city of Sevierville, you have a reduced payment of taxes. If you were in this, I mean, payment of garbage. So it's $20 for trash, residential trash pickup. Whereas Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg, they're picking up your trash. It's a part of a city service. Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg also have like a, they call it mass transit. The word mass is extremely generous, okay? And also it's not like the city of Knoxville where there's cat buses, the Knox area transit, where you can get all over the place. Really the mass transit for Gatlinburg and Sevierville and Pigeon Forge is for like to get to tourist places. Like I think most people, most local people are not using the mass transit. So that's a side note. The main thing when you're looking at Sevier County is short-term rental rules. Okay, that's probably where this is going to most apply. Because the thing is that like, for the most part, most people aren't gonna be hauling their trash. Most people are going to be paying for a trash service. And you are paying a reduced rate like if you're within the city of Sevier, but as I said, however, where I think that these city limits come into play based on Sevier County 
is related to short-term rental rules. Knoxville is the same. Knoxville City, City of Knoxville at the time making this video, yes, there are short-term rental rules about where you can have a short-term rental. However, comma, the county currently, County of Knoxville does not regulate that. Sevier County is very similar. Now I'm not talking about HOAs, I'm not talking about deed restrictions. I'm talking specifically about city and county ordinances related to short-term rentals. So Sevierville, Sevier County, as I said, 14 million people traveling to the city, to the county of Sevier, <laughs> to the to Sevier County for tourist purposes, which means short-term rentals, log cabin, a cabin in the Smokies, ooh, all of that there are rules around where those can be. So you wanna know when you go, for example, if you go to the Sevier County website, like go right now, Sevier County website, blah, blah, blah. Then go to the city of Sevierville website. One of the very first things that pops up on the city of Sevierville website is about zoning and short-term rentals. That's where I think these city limit situation comes into play. Okay, that's enough about Sevier County. Next up, let's talk about Blunt County. So Blunt County, home to Maryville, home to Alcoa, Louisville, Friendsville, Townsend, etc., And Great Smoky Mountains. So um, Knox, I mean, Blount County sprawls, just like Sevier County sprawls. Um, Maryville could be within the city limits or could not be. Alcoa is Alcoa. You don't have an Alcoa as... I'm 99.9999999% sure that there is no Alcoa address that's not within the Alcoa city limits. Maryville is different. Maryville is just like Knoxville. And then like you're gonna, if you go to look on a map, you're gonna see like some random name on a map, it's Maryville. But Maryville and these like property taxes come into play really more so when we're talking about school districts because Alcoa City Schools and Maryville City Schools are like one and two ranked in the state versus Blount County is fine, not ranked nearly as high as your Maryville City Schools and your Blount, I mean your Alcoa City Schools. Both of them you can apply to be into, you can pay a small tuition fee, go see the Blount County video for that. But when you're looking at taxes, knowing that if you're within the city of Maryville, those taxes are going towards Maryville City Schools. Not all the taxes, obviously, but same thing as Alcoa. So if, you've got, if you're wanting to be within one of those schools, you're going to want to pay those property taxes for both city and county. So again, you could have just Blunt. You could have Blunt County and Alcoa City taxes, and you could have Blunt County and Maryville City taxes. Those are like the, that's Blunt County in a nutshell. I think it again matters more when we're talking about schools. You do have trash service, et cetera. If you're within Maryville City or Alcoa City, you're either gonna haul the trash or you're gonna pay for the trash to be picked up. If you're with, with not within a city limit that provides trash service. There is a Maryville City Police, you have Alcoa Police, you have a Maryville Fire Department, Alcoa Fire Department. And then Blunt County has like a ton of different like volunteer fire departments and stuff like that. So that is your quick and dirty Blunt County. Next up, we have Loudoun County. For this list, you could have Loudoun County only, you could have Loudoun County and Lenore City, and you could have Loudoun County and City of Loudoun taxes. Both Lenore City and the City of Loudoun have their own fire departments, they have their own police departments. You do have Lenore City trash pickup, you have City of Loudoun trash pickup. School-wise, you've got Loudoun County schools, and you've got Lenore City Schools. So two different school districts within Loudoun County. Um, I mean, that's like the quick and dirty. I will also say that Loudoun County is home to multiple retirement communities. And like their websites would say that they are for everyone, but the majority of the people that are living in those communities are retired, um, 55 and up. So that includes Tennessee National, that includes Rarity Bay, which is also partly in Monroe County. That includes Wind River. That includes Teleco Village. So those are like the big four when it comes to retirement communities. They are waterfront, they are golf front, they are beautiful. If you drive into them, you're like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Ooh. Marinas, water, all the things. Lyman County also has Watts Bar, Teleco, uh, lots of water, lots of water. Uh, little Tennessee River, Tennessee River etc. Again, two school districts within Loudoun County. You are getting trash collection if you're within Lenore City and you are within the city of Loudoun. And then they also have their own police departments. Okay. Anderson County is similar to Sevier County. And there are a bunch of combinations of when you're going to pay and what property taxes you're going to pay. 
Okay, here's the rundown. Anderson County, you could pay Anderson County only. You could pay Clinton and Anderson County. You could pay Norris and Anderson County. You could pay Oak Ridge and Anderson County. You could pay Oliver Springs and Anderson County. And you could pay Rocky Top and Anderson County. Okay, so Anderson County has a lot going on. Okay, it's got a lot going on. Now, school-wise, Anderson County, you've got Anderson County Schools, you've got Oak Ridge Schools, and then you've got City of Clinton Schools. But City of Clinton Schools are just elementary. Within each of those municipalities, Clinton, Norris, Oak Ridge, Oliver Springs, and Rocky Top, you've got different services. So Oak Ridge, for example, to me, reminds me, the City of Oak Ridge reminds me of the City of Knoxville in that it is a established well oil machine kind of similar to city of Maribel or city of alcoa where you do have trash service you've got some perks to which you've got perks regardless to your property taxes okay this is not about bashing the fact that we have to pay property taxes that's not what this is about this is just letting you be clear that don't be shocked if you're looking at a Maribel house and you don't get trash service because you're outside of the Maribel city limits that's all we're saying here okay and or schools the schools is another big piece of this Oak Ridge Schools is its own system. Anderson County covers the rest of it for the most part. Now, like I said, City of Clinton, they've got elementary schools. City of Oak Ridge has pretty robust city services, similar to, as I said, Knoxville, Maribel, et cetera. Anderson County, I mean, the big thing about Anderson County is Oak Ridge. I rarely hear someone say, I wanna look at Oliver Springs. I wanna look at Rocky Top. I want to look at, I hear Norris, but, and I hear Clinton, but for the most part, when people are talking about Anderson County, they're thinking about Oak Ridge. Oak Ridge sits within Anderson County and a little bit of Rome County, by the way. You know, that's the big thing about Anderson County. Anderson County is large, is sprawling. Um, you know, I don't have a ton of, uh, to say about Anderson County other than the fact that Oak Ridge lives in Anderson County. And then Oak Ridge schools are ranked three Number three, I believe, three or five. Number five, best school districts in Tennessee. So that was Maryville, city of Maryville. You're gonna pay double property taxes, number one. Number two, Alcoa, you're gonna pay double property taxes. And number three, Oak Ridge Schools. You're gonna pay Oak Ridge and you're gonna pay Anderson County. I also wanna point out to you that if you're, if you're like, okay, well, who has the cheapest property taxes? So if we look at most expensive per $100 of assessed value, your most expensive is going to be Oak Ridge, $4.77. The rate is 4.77, okay? Now, who has the cheapest? Let's see the cheapest. So our highest was 4.77. Loudoun County is 1.5. Blount County, 1.59. So it looks like your cheapest overall would be if you are Sevier County only. And then your most expensive would be if you are Oak Ridge plus Anderson County, those two. But if you're county only, that would be severe. Which actually you can see that right now if you were to go look at, um, like if you were going to Zillow or Realtor.com and you were to go look at a property within Oak Ridge, you saw the taxes. Or if you were to go look at a property in Sevier County only and you saw the taxes, you will see that. And then. Um, Alcoa and Maribel, similar, similar thing is that you're going to see, and really Alcoa and Maribel both, a lot of times I tell people like, you're just going to double pretty much what you're paying. So that holds true for Alcoa because for example, Alcoa, Blount County only, only the rate is the county rate is 1.59. Whereas Alcoa, the it's 3.28. Maribel is a little bit less than two, 3.0. Nine. So a lot of times I just say like, you're really just paying double, but like Oak Ridge, for example, if we look at that tax rate for Oak Ridge and Anderson County, the Anderson County rate is 2.62 and the Oak Ridge city rate is 2.31. So almost double there as well. So you could have an Oak Ridge address that's outside of the Oak Ridge city limits where you're, you're going to pay about half the taxes because you're one street over, but you're also not gonna get your trash service, et cetera, because you're not within the city limit. So it all pays off, right? Um, okay, I think that's everything. I hope this has been helpful. As I said, each of these counties has their own video. So go check those out. And to, the big takeaways, again, where this comes into play is about trash service, 
is about sometimes about utilities sometimes sometimes about fire department and because a lot of times for example like when we list a property some people are paying like a membership for example my mom pays a membership to rural metro fire department and seymour we have the fire volunteer fire department you can make a donation to that but she's in knox county she pays for the rural metro service it's a subscription-based service Whereas like if we were both within the city of Knoxville, we were, we're not paying that. So that's just an example, but we're also paying more in property taxes. So that's where it comes into play. Um, Sevier County, Knox County, one big school system. Whereas Loudoun, Anderson and Blunt, you have a combination of big county systems and then smaller city systems like Oak Ridge or Maryville or Alcoa. So yeah, that is a little, um, you didn't know what you didn't know about property taxes and how you could pay double pro property taxes depending on where you are um, and where you're living, city or county only. I hope this has been helpful. As always, that is always my goal. Yeah, so I'll see you in the next video and go check out the specific county you're interested in. If I have left out a county that you're like, Haley, please talk about that county, then let me know. Because you know, I love to talk, obviously. So yeah, I hope this has been helpful as always. Give me a subscribe, send me a note. If you need anything, shoot me a text and I'll see you on the next one.